So today I'm going to be doing grains of gold. I've already picked a couple of palettes. Let me see if I can get the palettes that I'm just considering. So, a little crazy. I'm using some Artix coloring pencils. And I kind of want to make planet this color here. And I was considering to do the pillars, these little rock-like things coming out of the surface. I was going to do them a green color, but they look too much like Christmas trees. <laughs> and so instead, I think I'm going to go back closer to some blues in here. I'll play around with that. As for the planets behind, I think I'll go pretty traditional because I want everything else to stand out. So it's a vibrant planet because purple is one of my beloved colors besides teal and turquoise. But I want them to stand, gosh, what would I call them? I think I was telling Ryan that they're kind of like royal slums, but it's not that they're, it's like they have been traveling for years with their bandages and stuff. So thinking I'm going to make it look like they're a little bit worn down, but still some kind of royalty. And I was going to actually go with like some kind of Athena colors, just because I know that's not Nordic at all, but kind of metallics, but worn down to metallics is my idea. And then maybe the same on the spaceship. As for the backdrop, I'm really new at coloring. I kind of want to have like a, a little bit of the bottom area of the surface to have a little bit of a violet glow since the planet will have a little bit of violet purple tone and then it would transition into the galaxy in the colors. For the hair, I was thinking, once again, when I look at them, it reminds me of Athena, but obviously it'd be more like Scotty or Freya, right? And so Insights might, this is where I'm picturing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with like sandy blonde hair just because that might be fun. Maybe have one a little bit darker blonde than the other, like an older sister or older lieutenant of some sort. And I have some really fun ideas for the flower here. I want them to glow a little. Kind of makes me smile because I've never done that. So kind of like a lantern. And then these little flowers will be a reddish color. They'll have a reddish color with a little bit of navy blue, kind of like that. And then, oh yeah, and the flowers will be these, these little alien flowers. So it'll be mostly red tipped with a glow. And then the center part will have the dark blue. And so will the stem, but it'll be a little bit of yellow in there. I'm kind of excited about it. I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah. <laughs> That's the fun part. I'm making my own little pretend planet. And I rarely see planets with purple that have a purple surface. But even so, I, I want them to look out of out of place. Like, this isn't definitely f something they've never experienced before. But, yes, I'm very excited about this project. As you can tell. Wish me luck. If I zoom in real close, you can see some newbie airs. But, for the most part, I really, really like how it's coming along. I want to figure out how to make these glow a little bit more efficiently. But, for now, they're fine. Still trying to figure out what colors I'll use for them. As you can see in front of her face, I didn't know if I wanted to do anything special, so I just didn't cover that area yet. Still want to figure out if I want to make that area glow for the planets there. Still haven't done the little pillars, which are like, I don't know what you would call them, stone things. Yeah, I think it's uh, coming along really fun. It's just a really fun piece. <laughs> it looks better from a distance, though. I've had a lot of fun with this page. Looks like I got a couple of little baby planets to finish, and then the gemstones and the rocks. I think the idea of them looking at a place came out pretty well. I wish the stars were a little better, but at a distance, still not that bad. 
for my first try. This is my first spread. The fifth one in the books. <laughs> 